हेलो एंड नमस्ते वेलकम टू लेसन नंबर एट लर्न टू स्पीक भोजपुरी थ्रू इंग्लिश आई रियली लाइक भोजपुरी लैंग्वेज एंड माय एफर्ट्स आर टूअर्ड स्प्रेडिंग भोजपुरी लैंग्वेज टू मोर एंड मोर पीपल थ्रू यूट्यूब सो लेट अस बिगिन विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स बिगिन विद लेसन नंबर एट so let me begin today's lesson again with some kind of conversation so that you will be able to better remember this stuff uh so like if you meet a person who whom you have not met for a long time so there are two persons over here so he ends up asking i haven't met you since long so how do you say that badi din se bhent bhail ha bhent na bhail ha badi din se bhent na bhail ha बड़ी दिन से मीन्स फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम सिंस लॉन्ग भेंट भेंट मीन्स मीटिंग ओके ना भैल हा इट हैज नॉट हैपन सो बड़ी दिन से भेंट ना भैल हा आई हैवंट मेट यू सिंस लॉन्ग देन यस ब्रदर व्हाट्सअप अगेन द पर्सन माइट आस द सेम पर्सन यस ब्रदर व्हाट्सअप लाइक वाई हैव आई मीन आई हैवंट सीन यू सिंस लॉन्ग व्हाट्सअप सो हाउ डू यू से दिस और भैवा का हाल बा और और भैवा का हाल बा बोथ आर सेम और भैवा का हाल बा और और भैवा का हाल बा और यू मे इवन आस्क और भैया का हाल है एवरीथिंग इज फाइन द पर्सन माइट से एवरीथिंग इज फाइन सब ठीक है बा सब ठीक है बा नाउ how the person says this also depends on the tone suppose in a normal tone so sab theek hai ba so everything is fine means then there is no further uh, communication or whatever i mean the course will change but if the person says ha sab theek hai ba ha everything is fine he tells in a uh, like a little low tone low pitch tone then you feel ke okay something must be wrong so then you further extend your conversation uh then why have you dropped out of your studies just to you know keep that understand that person why have you uh, dropped out of your studies then tum kahe padal chhod de hala why have you dropped out of your studies tum kahe padal chhod de hala tum means you younger person kahe why padal means padhai or studying chhod de hala have you dropped out or have you left okay so or you may ask him tum kahe chakre chhod diya la or tum kahe naukri chhod de hala if you are asking a person why he left his job or why he stopped working so that way also i just put this sentence so that you could remember now you might say as an elderly person so don't waste time because he is telling everything is fine but uh, like you know you are not seen him for long time so that is the conversation line i have built so you will say he will uh, you will say don't waste time so generally elders say that right samay nuksan mat kari aur samay barbad na kari samay nuksan mat kari aur samay barbad na kari now you meet a person and you would like to ask him like you know why are you so serious aap itne gambhir kyon hain aap itne pareshan kyon hain or sometimes we may even ask why are you so silent both ways we can ask so first let us see why are you so serious rauwa etna gambhir kahe bada rauwa etna gambhir kahe bada rauwa means you respectful you to the elderly person or more formal so etna etna means why hum hindi what we say itne okay itna itne so that way gambhir word remains the same serious kahe why bada that's the way you talk so rauwa etna gambhir kahe bada rauwa etna gambhir kahe bada suppose you want to ask the same thing why are you so silent or you know I mean, आप चुपचाप क्यों है दैट वे वी आस ना सो हाउ डू यू आस दैट रवा इतना चुपचाप का है बड़ा रवा इतना गुमसुम का है बड़ा सो दैट वे ऑल्सो यू कैन से दीज आर द डिफरेंट ऑप्शन आई एम गिविंग यू 
Now, anything to worry or any problem. See, whenever we meet somebody and who is not really looking all that great, so we ask this question, right? So, anything to worry or is there any problem? The idea here is, may I help you in that tone, okay? Anything to worry or any problem? Kya koi parishani hai? Ka kono parishani ba? Ka kono kono or kauno? Both ways you can say. Ka kauno parishani ba? Is there anything to worry? Okay. So repeat this each sentence at least two three times. Pause the video, repeat, and then again watch the video. Then you will pick up the pronunciation. Pronunciation in any language is very very essential. Just taking the script and you know saying anything will not go well with any language. So you have to have the correct pronunciation of uh, you know articulation of that language. All right. Then you know the person may say, "Oh, there is nothing, kuch nahi." In Hindi, how do we say "kuch ne, kuch ne"? So like that he may say, "So kuchu nahi" or "kuchu nahi." Both ways, "kuchu nahi" or "kuchu nahi." Now again. If a person says in a very normal tone, oh, kuchu nahi, kuchu nahi, kuchu nahi, means, oh, nothing, nothing, everything is fine. Maybe little he is disturbed, but he doesn't know. But sometimes what happens, people are facing the problem, still they don't want to immediately open up. You can make with the tone they say. Suppose if a person says in a very so, ha, kuchu nahi, kuchu nahi. So then you suspect something is definitely wrong, but the person is not telling. So in that case, what you will do? So you'll ask. You will ask, what happened? Tell me. Again, there is a concern, right? Ka bhail bata vata. Ka bhail bata vata. Ka means what happened, bhail. Batawa. Batawa means tell me. Bata vata, tell me. Ka bhail bata vata. Ah, my mother is unwell or my mother is sick, the person may say. So if he says, Hamari mai ka tabiyat thik nahi khai. Or, Hamar mai bimar ba. Both ways they can say, Hamar mai ke tabiyat thik nahi khai. Or, Hamra mai bimar ba. Both are correct. So, Hamra means mai. Mai is mother. Babuji is father. Mai is mother. Mai ka means Mothers, tabiyat, tabiyat means, I mean, the health, thik nahi ba, means she is not keeping well. So, hamra mai, or he can say, hamra mai bimar ba, my mother is unwell, hamra mai, my mother, bimar, sick, ba is again, we, we speak. So, hamra mai ki tabiyat thik nahi khe. Hamra mai bimarba. Then you may ask a person, Oh, when did this happen? Isab kabhua. Or since when is she unwell? Anyway, you can ask the question. Okay. So, e kab bhail. When did this happen? E means this. Kab. When. Bhail. Happen. So, when did this happen? E kab bhail. Or you can even ask, you, you can word it this way also. E kahiya bhail. So, e ka bhail or e kahiya bhail. Both means the same thing. And, or you can even just simply you say kahiya se means since when. Kahiya se, since when. The person may reply just four days back, you know, or four days back. Chare din pahle. Chare din. Pahale. Din is day, you know that. No? Char. Chare means four. Pahale. Just back. Right? So, chare din pahale. Then, how is your mother now? Ab aapki maa ka kya hal hai? Or ab aapki mother ka tabiyat kaisa hai? So, you can ask that way. So, ab raur maa ka ka hal ba? Ab raur maa ka ka hal ba? Ab remains the same thing. Ab means now. Okay. Raur, your. Maika, mothers. Okay. Maika, ka means what? Hal, condition. Actually, hal means condition. Okay. Ka, hal, ba. 
so how it's uh, literally you cannot uh, translate that so how is your mother now so or ab aapki maa ka kya hal hai so what is her condition right now ab raur mai ka ka hal ba ab raur mai ka ka hal ba she is a bit better so the answer you may get is she is a bit better ab to tani theek hai so whenever i am putting that apostrophe kind of thing there that shows a nasal sound there hai generally this is not hai hai becomes in the hai so ab to tani theek hai but i don't understand anything that son is very upset like you know he is operation so he says i really don't understand anything you know why such a thing is happening so i don't understand anything so how do you say that baki hamra samajh mein कुछ वो न आए बाकी हमरा समझ में कुछ कुछ हो कुछ हो न आए ह और हमरा कुछ नहीं के बुझत और हमरा कुछ नहीं के बुझत नौ सी बाकी मीन्स बट हमरा माय समझ मीन्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग समझ में कुछ न आए हाँ आई एम नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग और हमरा कुछ नहीं के बुझत आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग नहीं के मीन्स इट्स अ नेगेटिव टर्म सो नहीं के बुझत आई कांट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग सो इट मीन्स दैट बाकी हमरा समझ में कुछ न आए हाँ और हमरा कुछ नहीं के बुझत then the person might say oh i understand everything will be fine it means just to pacify him right hum samajhta nahi sab theek hai hola so it is a way of telling like you know don't worry everything will be all right hum samajhta nahi sab theek hai hola if you need something from me please tell me okay this is generally we say right whenever a person is a, our own friend or somebody is in trouble if you need anything or if you need something from me please tell me don't hesitate like that we say right so hamra kuch kono madad chahi ta batawa hamra kono madad chahi ta batawa hamra means our or mine mine kono any madad is help literal sense me it is help okay need something chahi if you want or if it is needed so then batawa please tell me so how do you say that hamra kono madad chahi ta batawa hamra kono madad chahi ta batawa yes certainly ha pakka ba or ha zarur ba so the other person will reply ha pakka ba yeah yeah definitely ha zarur ba yes certainly thank you धन्यवाद विश यू गुड लक दैट इज बेसिकली फॉर हर स्पीडी रिकवरी मदर स्पीडी रिकवरी ओके किस्मत बढ़िया रहे सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इवन से गुड डे दिस ए यू नो दिन बढ़िया रहे ओके सो किस्मत बढ़िया रहे मीन्स विश यू गुड लक एंड शी विल रिकवर फास्ट वॉट एवर यू कैन इट इज कॉन्टेक्चुअल now i would like to give you some proverbs every language has a beauty right you know any language you take so they have certain proverbs which have got real moral lessons in them so i have picked up two proverbs for this video so let's see what they are chuchi handi tantan baje now this is there in almost all like you know in english they say empty vessels uh, make more noise in kannada in bangla every language this is a chunchi handi tantan baje chunchi handi means empty vessel handi is a vessel large vessel okay tantan baje that is the one which makes more noise see this proverb has come like this if you take a very large vessel and fill only half water or quarter water and then start walking with that water now to everything is provided by our aqua guard only we don't go anywhere we have got piped water 
but in the earlier times you know in india like they used to carry pots on their head and then bring the women would bring and even the men would carry the pots so that's the thing so if only um, empty it's almost empty then that can make a lot of noise half filled vessels make noise that also is there or when you keep to so many empty vessels together they also like you know when they come in contact they start making noise so that is the proverb so tonchi handi tantan baje this is applicable to people who show off while they have nothing people don't have knowledge but they want to show that they are really somebody and you know people don't have money but they just want to show that they are very rich and you know just want to impress others so this these kind of proverb this kind of uh, proverb is applicable to them empty vessels make more noise The next one is very interesting. Anhar guru bhagir chela, mange gurta debe thela thela. So anhar guru bhagir chela, mange gur ta debe thela. Now anhar guru means the blind teacher, okay? And bhagir bhagir bhagir. So that is uh, uh, deaf deaf pupil. Chela is a pupil. मांगे गुर तो डेबे ठेला सो गुरु इज आस्किंग फॉर गुड गुर मीन्स गुड दैट्स जैगरी पीस ऑफ जैगरी इज आस्किंग बट यू नो लाइक दी स्टूडेंट इज डेफ सो वॉट ही डज इज ही गोज एंड पिक्स अप अ पैलेट ऑफ मार्ट डॉर इवन अ स्मॉल स्टोन एंड देन दे गिव इट इन गुरुज हैंड सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस द ब्लाइंड टीचर एंड द डेफ पीपल दे के नॉट कम्युनिकेट टूगेदर सो वेन देर इज गैप इन कम्युनिकेशन फॉर पीपल दिस प्रॉब इज यूज समबडी इज सेंग समथिंग अदर पर्सन विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एवर टू हीज कैपेसिटी बट द कम्युनिकेशन डजन गो स्मूथली सो दिस दिस इज यूज इज इंट इट इंटरेस्टिंग आई लाइक दिस टू प्रॉब्स द फर्स्ट वन इज वेरी कॉमन बट द सेकेंड वन इज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग अनहर गुरु बाघिर छेला मांगे गुर तो दे बेड हेला सो नाउ द थर्ड वन इज घर फूटे jawar lute this is also very commonly used proverb so when we fight ghar phute means whenever the house breaks jawar phode lute means everyone will exploit that situation okay so when we fight amongst ourselves other take others take advantage this also is there in all the proverbs so please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel you can press the bell uh, i mean bell icon also to get instant notifications uh, so that uh, you can learn bhojpuri efficiently ha ah, now let me conclude the video in a couple of bhojpuri sentences humko bhojpuri bhasha bahut hi pasand ba means what i said okay i'll translate later humka bhojpuri bhasha bahut hi pasand ba hamra ye paryas ba ke bhojpuri bhasha abhasha youtube ka zariye ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगन तक पहुंचल जावा धन्यवाद फिर मिलब ओके व्हाट डिड आई से राइट नाउ इज आई लाइक भोजपुरी लैंग्वेज अ लॉट एंड आई पुट सिंसियर एफर्ट्स टू स्प्रेड दिस भोजपुरी लैंग्वेज थ्रू यूट्यूब वीडियो सो दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल कैन एक्सेस दिस एंड थैंक यू फिर मिलब मीन्स लेट्स लेट्स मीट अगेन और विल मीट अगेन Thank you so much